day eight check-in. And I realized yesterday when I told you guys 28 of these, you're like, what does that even mean? So if you're somebody that has to do their own testosterone or their own insulin, I guess you would understand what one cc is. A cc is also an ml, so they're the same thing. You wouldn't understand what the heck this is. So let's do a little experiment, a super scientific experiment. And we're gonna use 10 cc uh, syringes. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna pull up 28 total into my syringes and then I'm going to go down to the nine and then I'm gonna show you what my body should technically hopefully keep. So let's get into this. So let's show you what 28 cc's looks like. These are 10 millimeter syringes. I've made some jello that hopefully will pull up through these and then we can sh see just how much 28 is. Do my best here. Okay, so I, I got the yellow pudding just to see what this looks like. So that's 10. Twenty, and then we're gonna pull up to the twenty-eight. Okay, so this is how much fat was pulled up, and now we're gonna go ahead and let's throw this one away because this is what was kind of filtered out. So now that we have pulled out the twenty-eight, we're gonna showcase what was actually injected under each eye and around the eye. So, so I have nine. So I have 10 in each of these. So let's go ahead and push to the one. Obviously this is gonna be individual specific. This was just my scenario. This does have some air in it. Okay, so that's one eye. And then here is an eye number two. So that's how much fat was injected around each eye. And because I'm super scientific here, I did the math and of those nine cc's, you're going to reabsorb about 40% of it. So that's like 4.6 cc's. So what my body, so what my body's gonna keep is about 5.4. Let's show what that is. So it will keep about that much of the nine that was injected. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you. Sorry, it was like impromptu, filmed it with my phone. But for me, it was very helpful to actually see this in action and see how much fat was actually taken and then how much was act I'll actually keep, how much was injected. Update for today, the bruising is a lot better. Now I do have sunscreen on, so I have a mineral sunscreen on and then I just put powder over it just to like help the shine just a little bit and get my two hour touch up and a little bit of lipstick. But that's the update for today. The bruising is great. My thighs are still a disaster. But overall, I'm very happy with how I'm healing. And I was thinking about it when Dr. Eftikari was saying like, I'm not as bruised as most, most of his patients are. And I started thinking about his Park City patients and I'm thinking they're probably all vegan. So I went carnivore and I have had amazing results because your body knows what to do with meat. It helps the body to heal, build up those collagens, uh, the proteins, the amino acids. Beef has everything you need. I'm mainly beef. I don't eat chicken. Chicken's gross. And I don't know if I'm even getting real chicken if I go to a restaurant because they can make it with pink slime. So I don't even risk it. Yeah. Overall happy with the progress that's coming. And I, it seems like you guys like the longer format videos a little bit better. So maybe I'll finish out day nine and day 10 with longer form videos and we'll see how this progress is going. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a few pictures of the last few days so that you can see the progress of the healing. All right, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching, bye.